afternoon. Boiter from London chooses a record for Johnny's Jukebox. And we've got stories from this week in music. They include uh, Pete Townsend, Aaron Smith and Joe Cocker. Now, time to put a new record into the Jukebox. And uh, we've got a bit of a, a star coming up here, in a way. Uh, a man has been involved with all sorts of uh, music uh, over the years. And uh, notice he doesn't use the term musician, because, after all, he is a drummer. And he's full of energy. His name is Peter Boiter. Hiya, Peter. Hi, Johnny. Peter Boiter here. I'm currently celebrating 50 years as a music business professional, but I started out learning to play the drums by drumming along to the records playing on my red vinyl top dance set record player in the coal cellar of my parents' home in Streatham, South London in the 1960s. By the 1970s, I found myself playing recording sessions with many of the seasoned session musicians of the time, such as Herbie Flowers and Alan Parker from Blue Mink, and guitarist Vic Flick, who'd played the iconic James Bond theme. This led to my becoming the resident drummer with Johnny Pearson's Top of the Pops Orchestra, during which time I backed such artists as Randy Crawford, The Jacksons, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Elkie Brooks, Dean Friedman, Donny Osmond, and oh, so many more. However, there was only one very special lady for me, and that was the ever-professional Dusty Springfield. Johnny, please play an induct into Johnny's jukebox, I'm coming home again, so that I can again experience the hair standing up on the back of my neck as they did that evening in BBC Television Centre when I heard the sadly late but extremely great Dusty Springfield singing along to my drumming in my headphones. Sounds of the 70s. Johnny's Jukebox. <laughs> 